Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another speed build for you and this one I've called a climbing cafe and the idea behind it is it's a place where your sims can practice their climbing skill because I figured that with the new pack Snowy Escape you can go on these snowy expeditions and they kind of require you to have a certain level of the climbing skill already for your sims not to die. So I figured your sims might need somewhere to practice that skill or maybe just to have hang out, you know, after they've been going skiing or snowboarding, somewhere maybe for them to hire equipment or for you to pretend that they're hiring equipment. And so, yeah, I basically just built a build for your snow sports enthusiast sims just to hang out and socialise. It's got a cafe space and it's got some climbing walls for your sim to practice and I think they came with a fitness stuff pack and then it's got some showers and just some objects that kind of make it look like equipment hire although there's no actual functionality for that in The Sims yet but it is a functional cafe and that's the lot type that it is on the gallery and if you're interested I'll link the, my gallery info down in the description box below so you can go and download it. None of my builds ever have any CC so this is CC free if you're interested and I will talk a little bit more about the build in a minute but first I just wanted to go over a few channel updates. So last week I organised and released all of the videos from my autumn collab which which was called Brindleton Bay in the autumn and if you haven't seen it a load of us builders joined together and built a ton of lots I think it was like 18 of us built obviously 18 lots in Brindleton Bay in the autumn and all of the builds relate to animals in some way so I'm an animal lover so it was a perfect combination of themes for me and some of the builds included like a natural history museum loads of vets some cat cafes cat hotels one similar recreated their local animal shelter that they worked for and, and included some real life pictures and anecdotes about some cute puppies and kittens. So all of the videos are absolutely amazing. All of the builders that were in this club were so, so lovely to work with and so talented. So if you haven't already, go and check that out on my channel. I've got a playlist linked. If you just scroll down on my channel landing page, you'll see the title of the playlist is Brindleton Bay in Autumn. So go and check that out if you haven't already and if you're interested in collabing with me on my next projects then I am going to do a Christmas collab and if you haven't already seen on Twitter I did a poll and a load of you wanted to do a cozy Christmas theme so basically the idea behind it was just small builds and I'm not quite sure whether that will include tiny home like using the tiny home lot type that came with tiny living or whether it would be just limiting the lot lot size overall so I'm not quite sure how that will turn out but basically it's quite a broad theme so you'll be able to create anything you want under the umbrella of Christmas as well as obviously it being a small lot or a small build so it could be a residential cozy cottage or it could be absolutely anything that just happens to be a small build so that's really exciting and if you want to be a part of it it's an open collab and there's absolutely no limit to the number of people that can be a part of it and you can join at any point in the collab as well but the deadline I think the deadline will probably be around like the 22nd of December I haven't finalized it yet just in case you're interested that's what I'm thinking and yeah if you want to be a part of it just either comment on this video or contact me on social media I've got all of my social media linked in the video description here so you can find me there I'm pretty active on Twitter as well as Instagram so so they're probably the best places to start and the other huge news on my channel is that I recently reached 500 subscribers I think at the point of recording this I'm at 517 and before my collab I think I was like 10 away from 500 so I would definitely recommend being a part of this collab because it's such a big project that it's just really boosted my channel growth and I think quite a few people from the collab actually said that they had seen quite a bit of growth on their channel as well if not in subscribers then definitely in view time so definitely consider it if you're interested in being a part of a Christmas collab with with me because I would love to have you but I'm just so so happy and grateful that I managed to achieve such an incredible landmark on my channel. I feel like 500 halfway to a thousand which is obviously one of the steps to monetization and I, I'm not too fussed about monetization. I mean yeah obviously like that's kind of what I'm working towards because I love to have goals and that just motivates me so obviously I have that in the back of my mind but to be honest with you like I do this because I love 
it. I love being creative and more than anything, I have loved making so many new friends and being a part of this community. It is so amazing, so wholesome. Everyone in this community is just so kind and willing to help each other and make friends with each other. And this is exactly what I needed during COVID because I'm a super, super social person and I've been working from home for like over six months now, I think. And yeah, it's just been really, really tough. <laughs> and this has saved me, honestly. Like it has kept me focused. It has kept me going. It has kept me positive. I just want to say a massive thank you to you all because yeah, it has been amazing. And I'm so excited to continue the journey. And I also got 1000 followers on Twitter as well. So I should probably mention that because that's a massive step too. So thank you for that. And by way of celebration, I was going to organize a Christmas gift for you all. And what I had in mind is a video of me singing. I've already mentioned this on my channel, but I have been super into Christmas songs at the minute. And I am a singer in a function band in my free time. I, it's not my main job, but I do get paid to do it, you know, in non COVID times. So, so if you have any song requests, let me know down below. I'll probably make it Christmas themed, <laughs> but I'm super excited about that. You can probably expect the video early December because it will take me some time to prepare the songs because I normally just practice my own songs and I, I am a bit of a perfectionist and I've been out of practice since lockdown because I've been focusing on Sims and I haven't been gigging at all. So my singing is not up to scratch. So I'll just warn you in advance that it could be better, but I'm still gonna do it because I'm just super excited and I wanna celebrate with you guys. And then the other thing I'm really excited about on my channel is starting to stream. And I've mentioned this a hundred times before and I probably should have done it by now, but oh well. <laughs> I'm kind of just waiting until my Gilmore Girls so far comes to a bit of an end. I've got one more video that I want to post on my YouTube channel, you know, obviously before I do the release video when it's finally finished, but I'm thinking I'll finish off some of the small bits and pieces on stream. So if you guys are interested in that, do keep an eye out for me on Twitch and I'll obviously post on my social media when that happens, but um, it's probably going to be the week after next. So I'll post, I think it's Rory and Lorelai's house, an update of that build on Saturday. And then after that, I will be free to stream on Twitch. So I'm super excited about that. And I've also gotten really into Planet Zoo again, like watching people's Planet Zoo content. And I really, really want to start playing it again because I just haven't had time with all this Sims content I've been creating. So maybe eventually once I finish the save file, I can start playing Planet Zoo on Twitch. How do you feel about that? Let me know down in the comments because I would love to hear your thoughts about that game because it's honestly, you know how much I love animals. It's one of my favorite favorite games and I possibly like it even more than The Sims but I just wanted to be a part of The Sims community specifically because I knew so much about it already and I already watched so many Sims YouTubers and was aware of the community so that's why I'm a Sims dominated channel but to be honest with you I would love to be a Planet Zoo channel as well so let me know what you think of that but no promises yet <laughs> just baby steps because honestly Sims takes up so much of my time I have no idea how I would manage to market two games on my channel at once. But anyway, <laughs> that's basically all of my updates in real life. So back to the bills, you can see me at the minute, I'm furnishing the cafe. So I've got a little section here with the cafe bar. And obviously this is like a little kitchen area for the staff. And those are debug objects on that shelf, if you were wondering. I spent ages trying to find them. They are like little coffee bags. And then I kind of figured that the bottles, although I think they're supposed to be olive oil, I figured that they would be like little syrup bottles that you see in like you know Costa or Starbucks or something they especially at Christmas time they have different flavored syrups and it just made me think of that so that's why I put so many of them up there downstairs we've got a little entrance way which has obviously got a front desk for people to you know book in climbing sessions or to hire out equipment maybe that's what I had in mind for there and then you would have seen me place a load of those box items on the shelves behind the desk and I figured that they would be climbing shoes because fun fact about me my boyfriend is actually an activity instructor and in my free time obviously before lockdown because I'm not doing it at the minute at all we actually used to go bouldering quite a lot which if you don't know is like climbing well it's rock climbing but it's without ropes but it's to a shorter height so you're not going quite as high so if you were going
going really really high you would obviously need harnesses but you're climbing quite a short wall and it's yeah basically it looks like the climbing walls in the sims you've not got any harnesses you're just climbing up a wall and back down <laughs> and it's super super fun and a little bit scary not gonna lie but i got really into it at one stage so i was really really into the idea of making like a little bouldering or climbing cafe because i'm obviously quite familiar with the kind of places that do this and yeah the one that i go to in my local city it has a cute little cafe next to the bouldering walls so there's loads of places for you to sit and hang out and eat as well as go climbing so that's quite fun so i thought it'd be quite nice to have a climbing and a cafe combo so downstairs like i said i've got all of that snow activities equipment for hire so climbing equipment on the walls and then snowboards and stuff on the racks we've obviously got vending machines in the hallway and showers and i figured that they would be for people who had just been snowboarding or maybe the people who had just been climbing and obviously a toilet and then downstairs you've got the climbing wall area and then some seating area as well and the style of that seating is a little bit different to the cafe upstairs it's slightly more modern it's that sporty aesthetic that I would typically associate with gyms and climbing places like that and I thought it was a cute detail that I added the wallpaper that had the mountains around so it looked like you were climbing in the mountains and then I added those sort of tartan sofas and actually I you didn't see me do it in the speed build I don't think but for the screenshots I create a corner group and I did that by joining two of the Moschino sofas together and one of the chairs because because the back of the sofa doesn't fully meet the corner and so there was a little bit of a gap but the chair is actually slightly higher than the sofas so you can put it quite nicely together and for them not to clip which I'd never noticed before I normally don't put sofas together to create a corner group like that because they normally clip and I hate the way that that looks in game you know with it flashing but for some reason I tried it this time and it worked really well so that's a little tip if you were interested and then the upstairs of the build is basically just 50 shades of beige like <laughs> but I knew that I wanted it to be very neutral and very warm and cozy slightly modern but with a lodge type feel to it maybe in the style of the furniture so you've got those kind of leather cushion effect chairs and sofas but all of the colors are like cream and white and it just feels really smooth and chocolatey and cozy so I'm really happy with with how the interior of the upstairs cafe turned out because I think it looks really really cozy but I'm not quite sure about how I feel about the exterior of the build because obviously this is intended for people with snowy escape like that's where it's supposed to be near all of the winter sports activities on that mountain top but it doesn't fit in with the rest of the architecture in that world at all because obviously it's European and the rest of the world is a Japanese themed architecture or east asian so yeah i mean <laughs> if you can overlook it maybe if you've deleted all of the other builds in the world and you're just kind of playing as if it's a european lodge then it would look okay but i i don't know i just really wanted to build a build like this i promise i will do a japanese build soon i fully intend to do a modern platform japanese build and i've got a specific build in mind that i want to recreate that looks absolutely beautiful i hope Hope it turns out beautiful in the sims but yeah i'm really excited to do that i just wanted to create a european lodge because i absolutely love that style and i think personally it's one of my all-time favorite styles of builds anyways you know me i love my cozy builds so i have to get it out of my system i promise i will do some japanese builds soon <laughs> but yeah in terms of the exterior then you'll see that i've used those sized up logs from get together that i used in my ski lodge builds not too long ago and i've used them as columns on the corner of the build and then to create that sort of timber effect on the exterior I can't remember what they're called but they're like roof trim type objects oh I, I'm making a mess of that I can't remember what they're called but you know what I mean I've sized them up and then I've turned them around and it kind of creates a decoration around the corners of the build so I thought that was quite nice I'm not too sure how effective it is whether or not you know it's the best that it could be but it looks okay I think you know it does the job and outside as well it's worth noting that there's a little seating area so part of the cafe you can go and eat outside although it'd be pretty cold but there is a fireplace to warm your sims up so that's 
that's quite nice too. So yeah, we're pretty much coming up to the end of the build now. I really, really hope you like it. I really, really like this one. I like the interior upstairs and I like the climbing section that I created downstairs. I feel like the interior of the climbing section is definitely the kind of thing that you would see <laughs> in real life. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in being a part of my Christmas collab, then please get in contact with me. Like I said, I'm really, really active on my social media. So go and do that. Oh, and don't forget to check out my previous collab because like I said, there's some absolutely amazing creations on that playlist. So just go and watch the entire playlist. It's full of great builds and full of cozy vibes as well. So go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye guys.